നമസ്കാരം വെൽക്കം ടു അനദർ ലെക്ചർ ഓഫ് പാർഷ്യൽ ഡിഫറൻഷ്യൽ ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ദീസ് ആർ ദ സൊല്യൂഷൻസ് ഓഫ് പ്രീവിയസ് ഹോംവർക്ക് ഐ തിങ്ക് നൗ ഓൾ ഓഫ് യു ഹാവ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റുഡ് ഹൗ ടു ഫോം പാർഷ്യൽ ഡിഫറൻഷ്യൽ ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ബൈ എലിമിനേറ്റിംഗ് ആർബിട്രി കോൺസെൻസ് ഇൻ ദിസ് ലെക്ചർ വി വിൽ സി ഹൗ ടു ഫോം പാർഷ്യൽ ഡിഫറൻഷ്യൽ ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ബൈ എലിമിനേറ്റിംഗ് ആർബിട്രി ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് ഓക്കെ ലെറ്റ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് find the partial differential equations by eliminating arbitrary functions from the following the first problem is z is equal to f of x raised to 4 plus y raised to 4 here f is an arbitrary function okay so we have to find the pd corresponding to this family by eliminating this f so first we differentiate this equation with respect to x then we get this is dz by dx that is our p so p equal to derivative of f of x raised to 4 plus y raised to 4 with respect to x so we use chain rule first we differentiate this function with respect to x raised to 4 plus y raised to 4 then we differentiate x raised to 4 plus y raised to 4 with respect to x that is the chain rule okay so this become f dash of x raised to 4 plus y raised to 4 into derivative of inside with respect to x that is 4x cube so here this f dash means derivative of this function f with, with respect to this quantity x raised to 4 plus y raised to 4 right next we differentiate this function with respect to y then we get using the same chain rule f dash of x raised to 4 plus y raised to 4 into derivative of inside that is 4 y raised to 3 we denote this as equation number 1 and this as equation number 2 our aim is to eliminate f it is clear that in 1 and 2 contains a common term f dash if you divide 1 by 2 then we get the required pd so next we consider 1 by 2 lhs become p by q f dash is common so cancel out and 4 is common so the remaining term is x cube by y cube so the pd is This implies this is the required PD. Yes, this is the answer. Next problem. Z is equal to x plus y into phi of x square minus y square. Here, phi is an arbitrary function. Okay, we have to find the corresponding PD. So, first we differentiate this equation with respect to x. Then we get, here the right hand side is product of two functions. This is x plus y and this is phi of x square minus y so we use the product rule first function into derivative of second so derivative of phi that is phi dash of x square minus y square into derivative of x square minus y square that is 2x plus derivative of first function that is 1 into phi of x square minus y square next we differentiate given equation with respect to y then we get this is equation number 1 this is equation number 2 one implies p minus phi of x square minus y square is equal to and this implies and from given equation phi is equal to z by x plus y so this become similarly from 2 we get we denote this as equation number 3 and this is equation number 4 next we divide 3 by 4 equal to in the right hand side this 2 is 2 is common x plus y is common phi dash is common the remaining term is then we take the lcm so the numerator become p into x plus y minus z by x plus y and here it is q into x plus y minus z by x plus y so now x plus y is common we can we can cancel it then this expression become x 
next we cross multiply then we get p into x plus y minus z into y and this become minus x into this denominator so this is plus x into equal to 0 ok next we comparing the terms containing x plus y right then so x plus y is common take outside so what happened so this implies x plus y into here the remaining time is p into y that is p y here the remaining time is q x then this become minus z y and this is minus x z equal to 0 here minus z is common so take outside so this term become minus z into x plus y ok so now here x plus y is common so take outside so this become x plus y into here it is p y plus q x here minus z this is minus z equal to 0 and this is true for every x y so this implies the required p d is p y plus q x minus z equal to 0 so this is the final p d ok yes this is the answer ok next problem <coughs> we have to eliminate arbitrary function f and g from z is equal to f of x plus et plus g of x minus et here c is not an arbitrary constant c is a fixed number ok and here independent variables are x and t not y instead of y here t so we differentiate this equation with respect to x then we get p equal to f dash of x plus c t using chain rule this is into 1 plus g dash of x minus c t into 1 differentiate this equation with respect to t then we get q is equal to f dash of x plus c t into c and this become plus g dash of x minus c t into derivative of this inside with respect to t that is minus c so this is equation number 1 2 and 3 from these three equations it is clear that it is not possible to eliminate the functions f and g so we have to find higher derivatives for eliminating the arbitrary functions f and g ok so next we are going to differentiate this equation 2 with respect to x so this p become s differentiate this with respect to x ok so this is become f double dash of x plus ct and this become plus g double dash of x minus ct the der derivative of inside is 1 with respect to x next we differentiate this third equation with respect to y so what about this q q become d square z by d t square ok this become c into f double dash of x plus ct into c and this become g double dash of x minus ct into minus c square ok so this is equal to here the c square is common take outside so c square into f double dash of x plus ct plus g double dash of x minus ct and from this equation f double dash plus g double dash equal to s so this is equal to c square into s this is equal to c square what is s s is nothing d square z by dx square so the required pde is so this is the answer ok next problem z is equal to x into phi of y plus y into psi of x so we have to eliminate these two arbitrary functions phi and psi ok so first we differentiate with respect to x then we get derivative with respect to x so this become phi of y plus this become phi into psi dash of x ok then next we differentiate this equation with respect to y so z become q 
here also we have to find more derivatives to eliminate phi and psi okay this is our equation number one two and three next we are going to differentiate this two with respect to y so this p become s right this become phi dash of y plus this is psi dash of x derivative with respect to y okay this is our equation number four then how to eliminate phi and psi next we consider x into equation number two plus y into equation number three and let us become px plus py x into this one so this become x into phi y plus x y into i dash of x plus y into third equation so this become x y into phi dash of y plus y into psi of x right we know that x into phi y plus y into psi x equal to z so this is x into phi y and this is y into psi x so comparing these two terms that become z and the remaining term is plus x y into psi dash of x plus phi dash of y and this is equal to z plus x y into this psi dash plus phi dash from 4 that is s so this becomes s so the required pd is px plus y is equal to z plus x y s so this is the final pd okay yes this is the answer so in this video we have discussed how to form partial differential equations by eliminating arbitrary functions in next video we will see a special type of elimination of arbitrary function okay thank you bye